me out of here. No, JP, we're gonna stay. IKEA stands for I can't exit anywhere. No, seriously. If you haven't been to an IKEA, it's basically a haunted house with furniture. The business model is genius. I went there looking for a couch and I left with someone else's family. But did you know IKEA has food? Yeah, not like a lollipop at the bank or popcorn at Home Depot or a continental breakfast at a hotel or those cheap pastries at a conference. They've got food, food, like a massive food court, an entire grocery store, grab and go junk food on the way out. And we've never tried any of it. Which is why today we're going to attempt to eat every single item at Ikea, even the furniture. Dude, this isn't a furniture store. This is an escape room and we can't get out. We're making headway. Are we? Nope. Exit that way? Nope. Exit also that way over there. That way over there. Is this way over here. That way over there. Oh, you know they have beds here? You get so tired trying to leave. <laughs> that looks comfy. You have to go to sleep. Staff only. You can't go in there. That says exit. I'm trying to get out of here. That's a good idea. You are a big Short kid. Part. There's literally no exit. So we are stuck. You can, yes, you are. We're stuck! <laughs> what if we buy uh -huh. a lot of stuff? Is that how we get out? He said we're stuck. <laughs> get me out of here! Get me out of here! No, JP, we're gonna stay. We gotta get food. Oh my gosh. Julia! We did it! We did it! We found the restaurant! Beautiful. Let's go in. Wow, they have a lot of different stuff in here. So much food! I got a tray! Jules, they got chicken tenders! Salmon balls, veggie balls, plant balls, salmon balls, a big sampler ball, pork balls. I think we should get some balls. It is a wave of the future. Oh, can you hear me better now? I like those things. I need one of those for my house. Okay, so I'm gonna get that. Gonna want. That looks, awesome. that looks good. Can I just get a plate with veggie balls and plant balls? Yes. IKEA is so fancy. Round one: eating everything at IKEA starts now. First, balls. Which ball is the best ball, and are all balls good? The meat, the plant, or the veggie? This one is meat. Gravy ball. Cranberry sauce? I'll give it a go. Got a little Thanksgiving going on there. I can get down. That's really well seasoned. Peppery, flavorful, sweetness with the savory. All right, let's try these balls. Okay, trying a veggie ball. I like it. It actually tastes like meat. It tastes like potato. The other one tastes more like chicken. It's like it's trying to be a falafel. They're all good. But if you were to pick one, which is the best? Plant was the most surprisingly delicious. Veggie, also surprisingly delicious. Both tasted like the meatball. Mac and cheese. This is healthy junk food. Of course, we're gonna eat the mac and cheese. Mmm. Pretty good. What does it rank on your scale? I mean, like in the middle. Better than most frozen mac and cheeses. Oh, ouch. We're we learning. have to go back in line anyways. Where do you get one of those cool carts from? Look at another cart. It's like a hospital cart. It's where you put your trays when you're done eating. You put it next to your hospital bed. <laughs> That's because you come to Ikea to die because you can't get out. Broccoli, eat it, eat it. It's good, right? It's got a flavor to it, it's like vinegary. All right, salad, salmon, lox, raw, smoked, dressing, lemon, baby green. Kind of looks like arugula. And then what appears to be potato salad. Let's try it out. Man, I didn't know Ikea had so much food here. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. That is fantastic. Now I know what they excel in, and that's potato salad. My stepmom needs to take notes from Ikea. Wow, that's that's got a thick consistency. That is incredible. It's like a mustard dressing. Where are you looking? I'm looking into like the thought of the food and flavor. I have to focus. Got a little bit of dill, a little bit of mustard, mustard seed, a little sweetness. That's delicious. And then what am I supposed to do with this? Don't I need a bagel for this? I mean, this looks seasoned well too. It's like dill. Here we go, it's a big bite. There it is, guys. The first time you'll ever see JP eat a salad on the channel. Ikea, you did it. You don't like it? It's like sushi. I adore this dish, the potato salad. Excellent. Light, fresh, aromatic. However, I'm just not a big fan of um, raw fish. It's smoked. 
doesn't taste smoked, it tastes raw. We got friends. Hi Raquel, you're beautiful. Are you ready to eat Ikea? Ready to eat some furniture? You wanna eat a cushion, couch cushion? Maybe a couple plates? You know they have mac and cheese and chicken tenders here? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna eat it. Round two. Round two. Ding, 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 ding. Oh my gosh, the cart? They had a cart the whole time? I was like balancing trays because I didn't know about the cart. <gasps> Look at all of the food in it. I have all the food. Blueberry raspberry cheesecake. I want this chocolate conspiracy cake because it's a conspiracy. All right, Italian chicken wrap. Let's go, sweetie petite. Just keep pushing, just keep pushing. Let's eat. Let's eat, she said. Chicken, salmon. Yeah, that looks good. Is it soft? Yeah, oh, it just falls apart. Oh my gosh. Oh man, you should have gotten another one of these. A little gravy. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. The juice just bursted out. Ooh. That one looks good. Mmm. That is so soft. Try the salmon. A little bit of some type of sauce happening here. It's the same sauce as in your salad. It's got like a mustardy, a sweet, got some dill. You're right. It is. It's good. I think I like the raw smoked style a little bit better. Wow. This is a special today, so I guess they don't always have this on the menu. So, in order for us to eat the whole menu at IKEA, we have to go every day for a week. Or we just meet our friends and eat their food. Thanks, guys. <laughs> what I'm saying is they have a different special pie every day. Oh, that's a really great roasted chicken. Like, I'm a traditional barbecue honey mustard type of guy, and they don't have any of that. They just have ketchup. And I feel like people that just eat chicken tenders with ketchup have a problem. I think that's because the chicken tenders are here for kids. I think chicken tenders are a universal item. So you're going in that mustardy... I'm gonna have a little mustard... And sauce? Yeah. I thought these were gonna be way worse. This is like a step above cafeteria tenders. Is this the wrap? Yeah, look at this. It's got chicken, lettuce, um, olives, sun-dried tomatoes, and onion. Not bad. It's got like a Mediterranean feel, even though it's Swedish. Hey guys, I opened this for you. Cheers. Oh, cheers. cheers. Let me try these. This has a little it's bit good. of alcohol in it. Yeah. That is some great cider. And lingonberry. Ooh, juice. This is awesome. Both of these are great. I love this. Ooh, the conspiracy cake. Oh, conspiracy cake. Let's go. Let's get some. Oh. Mm. That is as good as everyone's been saying. That cake is to die for. I love it. I love cheesecake though. That's a very light cheesecake though. It is. The cheese, the it falls apart. Part. That was the best thing all day. The chocolate. The chocolate, chocolate was the best thing all day. Okay, we're, we're gonna eat the rest of this and then on our way out, maybe we'll find some more food. I heard they have pizza. <laughs> This is the marketplace. Oh, JP, you can get all the meatballs. Oh, oh, wow. Like little appetizers with it. Um, you know, like you can sprinkle dill. Shredded potato pancakes. Oh my god, yum. Yeah, vegetable cakes, hot dogs, veggie dogs, gingerbread. All right, you ready to get some more food? Yeah, I want pizza. All right, can we get a, um, a slice of pizza and a veggie dog, um, a Cinnabon, and a, a dollar ice cream cone. Oh, those hot cinnamon rolls right there look really toasty and good too. Here we go, Jules. Oh, they're so efficient. Oh yeah, soft serve. All right, let's go. We got everything. We've eaten everything at the IKEA. And I heard that this is one of the number one things to eat at IKEA. Let's see why. That is good. Oh, it's so soothing. It's not ice cream, it's frozen yogurt. You know what goes good with frozen yogurt? Pizza. Yo, this is like a Swedish pizza. It definitely doesn't look like a normal pizza. It doesn't smell like a normal pizza. It doesn't look like a normal pizza. Let's see if it tastes like one. Three out of 10. Oh. <laughs> mm, mm-hmm. All right, five out of 10. Ooh, look how fresh and buoyant this looks. Oh, no wonder they sell these, like, a nice fluffy dough. Yeah, it's like a breast, the way you're squeezing it. Okay. Oh my God, that's so good, it's so good. I think that the Swedes do the cinnamon roll better than the Pillsbury guy. There's the veggie dog. Comes with this pickled radish and I think crispy onion. Not oh, bad. I really like the onions. Wow. Really not bad. I'm glad we got this over the hot dog. Anyways, 
Let's eat more snacks. I have some friends here to eat it with me. JP, you're not one of them. Chips. Carmen, you wanna try these chips with me? Heck yeah. I guess they're from Sweden. Oh, that's what it said on there. Fest light. I'm pronouncing it wrong. Should what we... type is that one? This is pepper and leek. Oh, I've got some mushrooms that are pickled. Let's try it. Wait, do a sniff. Now swap, smell the pepper. swap sniff. Oh, these ones smell good. I think these smell better. These have like the vinegar, it's like a vinegar smell. Like salt and vinegar is the first thing that I'm smelling. These are so good, I love them. These are better than sour cream and onion ones. Okay, this one has pickled mushroom flavor. It doesn't sound good. That, but it tastes good. Serve that with some meat. These are actually delicious. What else can we try? This and this. What do you think? These look good. This I'm scared of. <laughs> look at there's like a child on the bottle. Let's try it. I don't know. Come you in. <laughs> Alex, come eat this with us. But how but cute yeah. are these little tiny cups? Oh, oh, just a little bit, right? Just a little? Cheers. Yes, let's do it. Swedish food to life. Salty. Salty. Salt. Tastes like fish, but not gross. Ew. I, I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. It's not gross. Um, no. Oh, it's pretty funny. It just hit me. It's yeah. like in the back of the, oh. Oh. These are good. I could probably learn to like this. So this is another Swedish candy that we saw at the grocery store, but it looks oh. like a Twix where they come with like two. Ooh. Marabou? Marabou. I'm just gonna eat one. These look like Rolos. Mmm. It's actually really Yeah, good. I'm liking that. I don't want any of this other stuff. It's like chocolate and caramel and butterscotch. Right, they're getting creative over here. It tastes good so far. Salty, for sure. Here it comes. <laughs> the money shot. <laughs> oh, ooh, oh. The chips are really good, bringing the flavor to the party. It doesn't really matter what I eat now, I just taste fish. And there you have it, folks. I think we literally bit off more than we can chew at the I Can't Exit Anywhere store. I honestly went into this thinking, Oh, there's gonna be a couple of cute snacks lying around. But no! Instead, we got the entire country of Sweden in the form of food. What initially seemed like a fun foodie experience turned into a test of mental and physical stamina, paired with claustrophobia. Eating at IKEA isn't for the faint of heart. If you decide to go, we recommend you order one meal and not the entire menu.